In this week's lesson, we are going to be working with the medium acrylic. I accidentally spelled acrylic wrong, and then I fixed it. <laughs> um, acrylic is one of my favorite mediums because it is so versatile. You can layer it, you can use it like watercolor, you can mix it together, it dries quickly. If you don't like what you did, you can cover over the top of it. I love acrylic. So here I am brainstorming all the things that you can do with acrylic. Um, everything that comes to my mind is just coming out. It doesn't necessarily mean that these all fit together except for the fact that you can do all of these things and so much more with acrylic. I love it. I love this medium. The first thing that I'm doing is masking a little area so that when I paint over it and then I pull the tape up, there will be still white page there where I put the tape. I'm using a roller here to print design on the paper. And then I'm going to mix some color together easily by going in a circular motion and using not really rinsing my brush, but just putting that paint right into the um, wet paint that's that I put on before. The next tool I picked up is a rubber scraper. These work a lot like just a card key. You can buy them in a lot of different sizes and you can find them in any craft store by the paintbrush section. I got that one at Hobby Lobby, but I know you can also order them online too. And now for the raindrop stencil test. It worked. I also, not only did it work on how it's actually supposed to be used, but I turned the stencil over and roll it out with a brayer or my Play-Doh roller and I get another print from the stencil. Here we just have a homemade stamp and it has the foam sticky, one side sticky and the other side's the smooth and they work so great as stamps. So I just loaded those, that up with acrylic paint and stamped it and then of course I had to use the round sponge to make some little marks too. Now I'm just doodling shapes that come to mind and with this liquid medium you're going to get a lot of different marks from different paintbrushes. I filled in this space with the paintbrush, now I'm going to fill in more space with the roller. Another subtractive method is to put the stencil down and then wipe it with a wet wipe. That one didn't work very well, so I got a stencil with bigger gaps and that worked really well. Um, now I'm going to use the same wet wipe and I loaded it with a little bit of white paint and I'm just um, stamping it onto the paper for a different texture. 
Something I find really fun and also intriguing about acrylic paint is that some of the acrylic paint will be very opaque. Like this purple paint is very opaque. It covers really well. You can go over anything that you laid down before and it will cover it up. I am adding water hoping to get a really good drip. I never got a great drip but I just keep on adding water to my paintbrush with the paint to get the right consistency so that it will run. And the reason that I wanted to do it with the purple paint is because of its opacity. It's really subtle, but I nudge the board also, or I can tap the board on the table um, so that gravity will help pull those drips down. Now I wet the area and then I added the acrylic paint so it's working like watercolor. It's very translucent. So now I'm just filling in areas and with acrylic, I do not like to leave white paper per se. So I'm just covering everything up, but I have those patterns underneath. So I might lighten it with adding water or you can add a, a medium, a floating medium so that it, um, that it stays translucent, but it's still putting color down on the paper. One of my favorite things to do with acrylic is scratch into it. So I have the bottom layer that's dry and light, and then I put a top layer that's a really thick, juicy paint. And while it's still wet, I'm going to take a skewer and scratch into it. I could also take the end of my paintbrush and scratch into it, whatever makes marks. And there you can see the purple coming through the bottom. You can also try that with a dark bottom and a light top and it will still work, but whatever you do, you want it to contrast. This lesson is all about mark making and so you can make a lot of different marks when you just change up your paintbrush and then see what kind of marks it makes by just pressing it down into the paper.
here I'm move, removing the tape. I'm using my heat gun so it softens it up so that it doesn't tear my paper off as I'm removing the tape. Even with stencils, I can use the same stencil and still have such different effect. This time I use the rubber scraper to put the paint down and it puts it on so much more thickly. This paint isn't the best paint because it is a lot more fluid than some heavy body acrylic paint. But if you do a stencil with a rubber scraper with heavy body acrylic paint, it is crisp and gorgeous. Something that I really like how that turns out. Now I just keep on adding layers. It's not necessarily that I'm doing any really different techniques. It's just that each layer that you add on top of another layer changes, even if you're doing sort of the same techniques. It is going to have a different effect because you might stamp over wet paint or you might roll over wet paint and it takes one layer and it incorporates it onto the next layer. So now I'm just kind of making patterns, making marks, and playing, and until I feel like the piece is done, I'm just gonna keep on adding layers. <laughs> 